today we are going to talk about the difference between morpheme morph and allomorph we have already talked about morpheme and its types and today we are just particularly focus on the difference how morpheme is different from morph and how both of them are different from allomorph let us begin with today's topic first of all as we already know what is morphology morphology is the study of how words are formed and syntax is the study of how words are put together morphology focuses on internal formation of words and syntax focuses on how words are arranged lafz bante kaise hain is the focus of morphology lafz judte kaise hain is syntax now what is morpheme remember three things about morpheme number 1 it is the smallest meaningful unit of a word number 2 it is meaningful not only lexically it may be meaningful grammatically sometimes it does not have any lexical meaning but it has grammatical meaning for example bound morpheme inflectional morpheme let's say love you add ed to it so ed is performing here a grammatical function then the third thing is it cannot be divided into further smaller units three things about morpheme for example i say boys boy is one morpheme that is a meaningful unit that is lexical item s is another morpheme that is bound morpheme so two morphemes two meaningful morphemes are in our mind boy and plurality s now what is morph and how it is different from morpheme when morpheme is manifested into physical shape remember morpheme is abstract that is meaningful unit in your mind when it is spoken or it is written so this written or spoken form of morpheme is morph morph means shape so the expression of morpheme into physical form into concrete form is morph for example boy is morpheme s is another morpheme when they are written boys so boy morpheme is also manifested into a written form that is boy s is also manifested or expressed in the written form s so these two morphemes have two morphs so morph is phonetic representation of morpheme it is the physical shape of morpheme it is the manifestation of morpheme as let me give you an example intention is in mind that is abstract intention is expressed through action so action is concrete meaning is in mind that is abstract meaning is expressed through words as meaning is expressed in words as intention is expressed into action as love is expressed through some action in the same fashion morpheme is abstract and it is expressed through written form or spoken form it may be phonetic representation another thing to remember it is not necessary that every time every morpheme has its morph in physical form sometime it is there but it does not have any physical form for example what is the plural of sheep in morpheme it has two morpheme one is sheep other is sense of plurality we give to it but when it is written s is not added but in meaning it is plural in form only one morph is there sheep sheep is written s s is not written so there are two morphemes sheep and plural s but in writing there is only one morph so there were two morphemes in boys boy and s both of them were written boy and s but in case of sheep there is sense of plurality we understand it is plural form but it is not written so there are two morphemes but one morph are you getting my point so morpheme 
is manifested into morph and sometimes it is not manifested but it exists everything that is abstract does not mean it is absent it is there but it is not in concrete form that is morph next word segment that represents one morpheme in sound or writing is morph a written or pronounced portion is morph another concept what is allomorph now there is a morph for example in voice there was morph s the the meaning of plurality is expressed through s when a morph listen attentively when a morph is pronounced in different ways so all of those different pronunciations of the same morph are called allomorphs let me reiterate all different pronunciations of the same morph are called allomorphs for example the word s now we understand the s is morph when it is brought in different environments it is pronounced differently what is meant by environment when s is pronounced when s is brought with dog it is different environment when s is brought with cat it is different environment when s is brought with race it is different environment this linguistic environment we are talking about now let me exemplify here are some examples when s is added with cat it gives the sound of sa cats when it is when it is added with dog it gives the sound of z dogs when it is added with races it gives the sound of is same morph is being pronounced in different ways so different pronunciations of the same morph are called allomorphs here are some of the examples for you these are examples then there are some other examples in case of verb of allomorph you can also note them down another important thing morph can be of three types free morph that can stand on its own like boy bound morph that cannot stand on its own s you need some other morph for s to be connected so bound morphemes are the morphs that cannot stand on its own there is zero morph sometimes there is morpheme but it is not expressed when morph is written for example cut what is the second form of cut cut we are adding past in our mind we are giving the meaning of we are giving the meaning and sense of past to it but we are not adding ed so we cut an apple humne ek sev kaata but we are not writing ed but it is uh, past tense so when there are two morphemes cut and past tense but written only one morph so we say there is zero morph at the place of ed matlab ed is not written there ed is not expressed ed is not brought into an expression so we say this is zero morph as uh, i talked about sheep when sheep is written no s is added so we say in writing there is zero morph at the place of s but sheep is there thank you so much we will bring very soon next video for you keep watching keep giving your feedback i see all of your comments i reply to them and thank you so much